Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. In this video, we have some shocking news that Elon Musk is going to star in the new Star Trek Starfleet Academy series. There are even rumours future versions of his SpaceX ships could feature. What does this mean for the future of the franchise? Might we see some other famous people appearing? Jeff Bezos? Bill Gates? Yosemite Sam? Amazingly, there is a SpaceX ship in Bridge Commander. Was this made by Elon Musk? Strangely, it's even armed with weapons. Today, we're going to imagine Android Elon attacking the Federation. Now, of course, Q will do everything in his power to stop this, although in true Q fashion, I'd expect the unexpected. Captain Picard is admiring his reflection in the ready room window, where he spots a number of odd looking ships surrounding his ship. As you can imagine, Mr. Worf initiates red alert almost immediately. Red alert, shields up. Captain Picard opens hailing frequencies and demands the ships leave Federation space immediately as they keep colliding into each other. And there's a response. <laughs> Captain Picard orders battle stations. The odd looking vessels have started firing some sort of weapon. Let's open fire. Well, it looks like they've got some sort of armor. We are able to avoid those projectiles. Oh, maybe not. Okay, our shields are taking some damage here. Let's try some good old fashioned multi-targeting, shall we? Oh yes! Galaxy class firepower. Not sure if you can see down there the number of projectiles that have been fired and have missed. Where are they going? Well, it looks like Elon Musk's quest for universal domination may be over. What? Oh no! He sided with the Breen! He's got Breen technology! We've lost all power! Oh dear! This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, I'm gonna try something here. Let's source a separate. And we'll see if that gives us power back. And no, it hasn't. In fact, we've lost everything. We're just aimlessly floating in space. Oh no! Jean-Luc! The goldfish! Q also managed to draft in Captain Sisko, but there was an unfortunate incident involving a cloaking device. Captain Sisko mistakenly took some advice from a certain badger regarding when to cloak, and well, yes. Good old Q, he's managed to go throughout history and obtain a number of enterprises. He can't see his favourite get destroyed. Commanding the Enterprise E, we have Mr. Worf. <laughs> Although there have been a few unintended consequences with this meddling, as you can see Miguel is stood rather uncomfortably close to the captain, captain. and he won't move away, captain. and Safi appears to be practicing yoga on the bridge, which I would not expect from her. And as you can see there, Brex is warming his hands up on the console. Kiska and The Rock are they're no longer sat on their seats, as they have broken the view screen. The Rock was attempting to airdrop one of his Royal Rumbles on the screen, and we've now got a blue screen of death situation. We have Cranky Admiral Riker on the Galaxy X class. We have TJ Hooker, I mean Captain Kirk, on the USS Enterprise. And we have the Enterprise B. And luckily for us, it's a Tuesday. So, what? It's Monday? Oh, sh**. Okay, well, Q has very kindly dropped us back into the middle of the battle, but unfortunately for us, the Breen have brought some reinforcements. 
How will the Galaxy X class hold up to those green drain weapons? I'm not sure. We should hopefully be able to one-shot these starships, though. We are taking some damage here, actually. That's surprising. Okay, our warp nacelle has been blown off! Luckily, we still have two remaining. Oh my goodness, how's that happened? Okay, we're taking some impacts here for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Well, Q decided to pull the Galaxy X-Class out there and reset things. Ooh, okay, we have a collision between a Breen ship and one of the starships. Oh dear, the Enterprise B is just blown up. Okay. Have they self-destructed, perhaps? That's unfortunate. We have one more Breen to deal with. We should be immune to the Drain Weapon, being in the Sovereign, in theory. Let's see if they're immune to our Quantum Torpedoes. Hmm. Well, they took that quite well, actually. That's surprising. Okay, only one thing left to do. Let's capture Elon Musk. Starfleet has won! Or has it? <laughs> Does anybody know the star date today? I believe it's an old Earth custom to say, April Fools! Bye for now.